What is up guys, David Productions 119 here today. Real quickly, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a vlog today, just a couple of things I do for hustling. Um, I'm going to be selling this pair today. I go. I just sold it last night, but I really don't wear these that much. And I, Last time I wore this was my birthday, and that was my only time I wore these. But I'm trying to get a new car, so just selling a bunch of shoes. I'll show you guys real quick. Bunch of shoes and stuff, boots too. Um, I'm gonna be selling these later today too. So let's hope that works well. Got a bunch of shoes right here. I'm trying to sell. Show you guys real quick my collection right now. Just got a bunch of these. I'm surprised I grabbed a pair of fours, cool grays. I really did not wear those. Just a bunch of shoes. These are all the shoes I'm keeping. And then these are all the stuff I'm selling. So I'll let you guys know what else happens today. But for now, I'll catch up with you guys later when I ship these to UPS. So for now, see you guys. Alrighty guys, I am off to UPS right now. And let's get this rolling. Got right, UPS, so... Let's get it. Alrighty guys, this is a couple days later. Real quick, another pair sold on GOAT. The Cool Grays. I really like these, just, I don't know, just something about this shoe, all gray, is kind of just weird. And I really made some money on this a little bit, not too much, since these are going for like 350 400 brand new. The condition on these is pretty good, I'd say like 8 out of 10, no star loss, no heel drag. Um, honestly, I, I didn't really sell, like, I have posted these for like 260 250 I sold these for like two thirty five plus minus the fees they got, so I probably make like one eighty or one ninety on this, which is fine. I think retail on this was retail. Retail on this was one ninety. So basically, for retail is what I'm selling these for, and I didn't. I got these for like sixty or eighty. I think I forgot honestly, but I don't know. The cool grades are cool, just not really my style. I'd rather have. The money, and honestly, I might just use this money to go towards the Fire Reds because they're better. But the Cool Grays are still cool, nonetheless. Condition is very great on these. Um, OG Blacks, of course. I don't know, I've just been selling a bunch of pairs on GOAT, so let's just catch up with you guys in a little bit when I, I guess, update you guys. This is kind of like a different couple day vlog, so I'll catch you guys later. Alrighty, guys, real quick. So, another pair just on go. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. It's, it's kind of weird. Three pairs within a week or two. Sipping some mocha. But, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I don't know if it's gonna go up on Thanksgiving, but another pair just sold on go. I'll show you guys real quick. It is the Aquas. Now, no, like, I like these shoes, just I really don't need these. Like, these are cool, and these are really clean. Like, there's really no creases at all. I just quick zoom in like there's no creases to this. So in really good condition. I sold these for 190 I think. You know how GOAT makes the fee of whatever. But yeah, they're in really good condition. I wore these like two or three times. Even this even this size. I don't know. I just don't need all these shoes and I've been just telling myself the shoes that I don't really, really need, I'm gonna sell and just use that money for Christmas gifts, or I'm going to use it for other stuff, but, yeah, damage box, but, doesn't matter, I still sold these for a good price, so, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, I'm shipping these to UPS, not today, since it's Thanksgiving, but, probably tomorrow, so, I'll catch up with you guys then, if not, happy Thanksgiving, and peace. Alrighty, guys, I'm selling these, OG box, white infrareds, the black ones are my favorite, the white ones, these ones are, uh, they don't even have Nike Air, Pretty good condition, but these gotta go. Pretty good condition, worth like 100, 120, I'm selling them for 120. So let's get it. So you guys, the grind don't stop off the UPS of Shabbat, another package, just the Aquas. About to sell these, and then I don't know what else I'm gonna do today, but if, if anything else, I'm, I'll hit you guys up, let you guys know what I'm, go what I'm doing. If not, it's the only thing I'm doing right now. It is a few days later, same video. But just, right now, it's just a bunch of grinding and stuff. I've been selling a couple pairs on Go, you guys can see. But, 
Real quick, I'm gonna go into some other pickups that I've seen at Plato's. Again, they be taxing right now, like low key, like not even low key, just like they're they're pricing their shoes at the prices that I would try to sell them at, like sixty, seventy dollars. Got a two two or three shoes I seen at Plato's the other day, so I'm gonna put that in this video. I don't know when, and might be right after here. Then we'll see what else I do today. I'm probably gonna be selling another pair of shoes today. Gotta dig them out real quick, but I'm gonna try to sell those today. And then I'll catch up with you guys when I get those out and show you guys which pair I'm selling. So the first pair, this is the Kyrie 3 Low Multicolors. Pretty cool. The only problem is that they were size 12 and also, I mean, they would have fit me, but they were half size too big. The price was 60 though. So I was just like, it's a little bit too high for me. I would try to get them for like 30 or 40, sell them for 60. The players was trying to tax and sell them what they're really worth, which I hope they don't do in the future. But that's the first pair. The bottoms are kind of dirty. Second pair is the Giannis Zoom Freak 2s. Pretty cool, size 12, they fit me. Just the price was a little bit too high for me. It was $60 again, so I was like, you know what, I really don't need these, so I passed on both of them. You guys, I don't know why it's weird, just this is the pair I'm selling, the OG 9s. I don't know, something about these shoes. Like, they're cool, and I wear them a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'd rather have cash. I think I got these for like 60 bucks. I'm going to sell them for like 150 or so. Ah, what am I doing? Um, but yeah, these are pretty dope, pretty good condition. If you guys can see my light, won't make it look like these are like bright. Hold on, there we go. Pretty good condition. Bottoms, pretty good. So people kept keep telling me, oh, I'll do a hundred for you. These are coming back out. I'm like, no, they're not. That's a UNC pair with the blue, which is not OG like these. These are hidden for like three, four hundred new. I know these are used, but they're hidden for at least like 150, 200. And I wanted to be nice, so I'm selling these for 150 Hopefully these can sell. Um, OG box and everything. So these should be able to sell today. Hopefully. If not, whatever. I'm just very surprised some other pairs I had posted. I'll show you guys real quick. That have not sold yet. For example, these Prestos for 60 is a steal. Um, these Air Max 95s that I have. These are a steal. I put them at like 120 or 100, which is a sale. They go for like 200, 300 new. Um, the threes I have, the red cements. I'm trying to get these in the shop too. I'm surprised these hasn't haven't sold yet. They've been worn once. And then also the Ovios. Nobody's even messaged me about those yet. And then also the Tinker Sevens. I'm surprised that nobody's messaged me messaged me about those either. But yeah, just trying to sell a bunch of shoes, guys. Um, uh, supposedly, I'm going to try to get the fire reds. I don't know if it's going to be in this video or not. If so, that's cool. If not, that's also cool. But for now, just this clip showing you guys these. And for now, I'll catch you guys in, ah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Same day, new part of the vlog. Actually, all the shoes that I've sold this video used some of the money, most of the money, actually. Like, I'd say like 60% of it to buy a bunch of Christmas gifts for people. I'd rather buy a bunch of Christmas gifts for people and just have shoes sitting in my closet. So that's cool. Then some of the other money right now. Got some money. Um, using this to buy a pair of shoes that I wanted that I struck out for retail and I really wanted this pair. And hope I'm getting it today. Some dude's pulling up, selling it to me for a little bit above retail. About what would you, about what you would pay for the shoe expedited shipping like one or two days. It's like a little bit over. So got the cash here. Most of this is from selling shoes and just grinding, hustling a lot. But I'm gonna use this to buy the shoes and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit about the shoes. But the, again, I'd rather give back and buy a bunch of people Christmas gifts than just have a bunch of shoes here in my closet. Cause right now, I still got a bunch of shoes sitting in my closet. But I love these shoes, so I'm keeping these ones. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit when I get the shoes. Just got the pair in. Let's flip the camera around and show you guys what pair it is. I guess we got the pair in right here. Four boxes. You guys should already know what these are. No USD right here because this is from a European website. These are authentic. Here's the label from the place. Size 11. Box a little bit damaged because of shipping. SMH. Box a little bit different also. It feels a little bit different. The lid feels the same. But the box itself is a little bit thicker. 
goes in C. Cement print, and also the just usually a hole right here instead of this, and they change it up and made it like this. Cement print. You guys already should know what these are. Got the fire reds in hand. My size. There's a couple of imperfections like right here on mine. Kind of bummed about that, but other than that, everything else looks pretty good. A lot of people have been saying there's a bunch of glue stains and stuff on their pairs. So far, for me, the only thing that I can see right now is up here, like right there, a little bit of red. But other than, than that, this side looks pretty good. And I hope my other side of the other side is better or something. Because right now, there's no creases. Oh, there is creases. Oh. On the front, there's no jagged stitching. The stitching in the back looks fine. Everything looks pretty good. Just again, right there. I don't know what that is. The little red stain. I'm going to try to get that out, but other than that, everything else looks pretty good. So, I'm not going to do a full review here today, but I'll show you guys I did get the fire reds. My plug hooked me up. My second plug hooked me up, actually. But yeah, this is them. I did have these originally, the uh, 2012 or 13 pair, I think it was 12. Did not have the Nike Air, this pair is a little bit better. The other qualities, eh. Just a little bit of imperfections, like the leathers, it kind of feels like the white cement leather, like it's not the best. Yeah, there's a couple of imperfections, I'm gonna try to get rid of that stain. I don't know what that is, it's stitching it looks like. Anyways guys, for now that's it. I'll catch you guys in a little bit once. I figured this out. Alrighty guys, so there's another clip in this end video. Got these, you guys should know what these are. Ovio 10, someone wants to do a trade with me. These for two pairs. And I'm probably gonna do it if the, if the two pairs fit, just because, I don't know, something about these shoes is just, I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I, I, I don't really need these, so I'm going to see what I can do. Well, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit if I do the trade. But right now I'm on the way to try on the other pairs, and let's get it. Guys, really quickly, I forgot to film the other day after what I traded the OVOs for. It's going to be a real quick segment. This is a couple days later, but just keep in mind that I'm just, it's right before the last clip. But I traded the OVOs for these KDs. These are custom Nike IDs. They kind of remind me of the Back to the Future hoverboard a little bit, if you guys know what that is. Size 11. I'm I'm debating on whether to sell these or keep these. For now, I'm just going to keep them. And then I traded for this pair. Right here. The brown. These retail for like 250 And they're going for like 300 now. Um, pull them out real quick. I don't know, I, I just really wanted this pair. It does not really fit me too well. Since it's a size 11, I should have probably not gotten this pair or just used this to get an 11 and a half. But we got the What The LeBrons. Um, I really like these. My one friend has these and I don't know, I just really like these. But so I for these two pairs for the OVO 10s. Let me know guys what you guys think of who won. These ones are, are worn. Not too bad condition. And then these ones are VNDS. Like you guys can see the bottoms. VNDS. Very near dead stock. This one's not even yellow at all. Like like look, look at this in the light. It's not even yellow. So I traded these two pairs for my OVO 10s. Uh, I'd price these probably at like 180. Because these are pretty new basically. Still has the LeBron logo in this one. It still has that price is at like 180 and probably these like 70 so that's like 250 about the same price i was selling my ovios for i really like these shoes it's just i don't know i really can't wear these they're a little bit tight but i'll try to make it work or i'll just try to get an 11 and a half other than that guys stay tuned for the next part of the video all right you guys this is a late night meetup that i just did let's check the clock right now real quick it is 322 I just pull up to some dude's house. 
did some trades. He paid me some cash on cash up. And a quick show you guys real quick what I got. I'm gonna go into detail maybe in the next video. This video is just a bunch of stuff compiled. I made another trade earlier today. I don't know if I did a clip for that. But I think I did. So this is after that. We got some Air Forces. We got these black Air Force. These are probably black Air Force activities. No, I want to make the off white Momos kind of like with the silver. So it's unique. Like this, uh, it comes with swooshes. Grand old stop, man. Um, this is 11. Yeah, this is 11. Next, let's go into these. This is a pair that I really do not care about. Just in the bundle deal. Let me turn out some lights real quick. Gotta clean these up. This is the Chrome 6 Lowe's. So hella beat, look at some of these marks. I might, I might try to sell these for like 50 or 60. I'm gonna try to clean these, but the bottoms are pretty clean. I don't know how the hell this, this shoe is so dirty, like the scuffs and shit. I don't know, dude. Like the bottoms are pretty clean, but the uppers are destroyed. I don't know, we'll see. Like it's another pair. These are our size. Eleven and a half, I think. Yeah. I don't know how about these ones. It's kind of forty bucks for these. I potentially pay, I guess. So I'll go into detail. Pay forty for these. Forty for these. Dude sent me 40 in cash app, so that's 120. For the French Blue Sevens I had, I got rid of those. So 120, basically, it's what I was asking for. And I kind of wanted some cool Air Forces, I guess. The last pair we got here, the Air Jordan 1s. Check it out. It's the Copan. Japan phone, whatever you want to call it. DS, the lace bag attached. This has a 10 and a half. I traded the Fire Red 4s I had for these. I think it was a steal in my opinion because A, these were legit, and B, you guys know how Jordan ones are. In a couple months to a year, these could be worth like, they were going for like 260, they could be worth like 300. I'll do the quick test with you guys, the authentic test. Real quick, the easiest thing I learned a couple days ago actually is going like this. If you push down, if it's authentic, it'll come back up. So these are all obviously 100% authentic. I did a legit check them. Be you guys a secure pickup for tonight. Late, late sneaker meetup. And yeah, let's catch up with you guys in the next clip if there is one. If not, peace out, guys.